see. Hi, this is Dana Mills, and I'm going to be going over the arm muscles today. So here we go. I'm going to start. These are on your forearm, and as you can tell, these are all going to be extensor muscles. So this is extensor digitorum, and then I like to group these three together. This is the brachioradialis, and then there's two right here. And so that should be the extensor carpi for carpal um, radialis longus, and then the one next to it is extensor carpi radialis brevis. We have three smaller ones right here that work with the thumb, and that should be the name pollicis should be in its name. So we have abductor pollicis longus, we have extensor pollicis brevis, and we have extensor pollicis longus. Okay, and then I um, need to point out that this is the aconius, if you can see all the way up here. And I'm going to point out a feature that will help you when you're studying is the aconius hugs all the extensor. And you can see it, it's um, breaking up these two. And also the bone here breaks up between the extensors and the flexors. These two I like to group together, they're all ulnaris. So this one on this side is extensor carpi ulnaris. This one on this side is flexor carpi ulnaris, and it goes to the pinky. You may want to just remember that, um, whichever, whichever way helps you out. Okay, now we're on the palm side. This band right here is flexor rignaculum. This guy that's going right into the palm is palmaris longus. The one next to it here is flexor carpi radialis. Okay, we have to go deeper. So I'll show you here. This whole this whole guy here is flexor digitorum superficialis. And we're going to continue to go deeper. And on this side, there's a little bit, there's a little muscle here, and that is flexor digitorum profundus. And this one goes up to the thumb again, so it has flexor pollicis longus, and that's pollicis in its name. Okay, I think I removed one that I needed, so stick that back in there real quick. This is pronator teres. It does pronation on your arm. Okay, now I'm also going to remove these ones. This guy right here is the supinator. Okay, now these might be more familiar to you. This large muscle is the biceps brachii. The next muscle, how it's easy to remember, is it's coracobrachialis, and if you're familiar with the um, scapular bone, it's that's the process that's on there. Um, so then, process of elimination. This guy right here is the brachialis. So you have brachialis, biceps brachii, the very large one, and this little piece here off to the side, coracobrachialis. Now. This is a little odd to look at, but we're looking at the um, clavicle bone and the scapula bone. This is pectoralis major, and it's kind of cut there. This big bulge, I think I need to sit for this. Uh, this big bulge right here is your deltoid. You have uh, triceps brachii. It has three different three different heads. So this is the lateral head. This right here is the long head. When you remove those, this might come flying out. Let's see. Nope. Okay. So underneath in here, and additionally, this small little piece is the medial head. Um, these are both uh, the teres. So you have teres um, major and teres minor. This is part of the scapula. So this is infraspinatus, 
from you get from the spine of the scapula and the one down here is supraspinatus because the arm is in a different position. I'll try to remove this so you can see a little better. Okay, so now you can see the spine really well. Um, this is subscapularis. This little tiny piece right here is called latissimus dorsi. And I hope that was helpful. Thank you.